Congratulations to Campbell. Um, <clears throat> thank you to Mississippi State. And good luck to those two teams tomorrow. Um, regional was well run and, and very, very uh, <clears throat> lived up to the billing for certain. And Starkville was, you know, was, was fabulous. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it, it was, it, that game was a hatchet fight. And um, they came out on top. You just get, you get so thin. You know, towards the back end of these, of these, uh, of, the, of these regionals, these five game weeks and stuff, and it just, um, you know, it just just played out that way. We, you know, we kind of ran out of gas there at the end, as you could see, and we're kind of out of options on the mound. So, um, just uh, so thankful to our group. <clears throat> um, just, just thankful. Thank you to our seniors. I'm so happy to be able to. Um, get through the year and complete the year for our fifth year guys who came back to make them whole again. And then obviously <clears throat> the way we played was, uh, was a very, very special ending to that and, and to make it uh, to win the A-10 championship and, and be a two seed. Um, to get not only one thing we always talk about, we talked about <clears throat> when the shutdown happened in uh, 2020, <clears throat> we know I wanted to come back, but, we wanted to continue to move the program forward and we just didn't want to come back. We wanted to continue to, to make gains in the program. And that's always been, you know, kind of our, our thought process. And, and I think we did that. We didn't, you know, after all this, we didn't go backwards. We actually propelled the program for, uh, forward. And that's just a, that just is about our kids and our assistants and, and support staff and administration. So, um, you know, I'm not even sure I have my head around everything that we accomplished and, and just very, very proud, very proud. Um, I, this year, I, you know, this was tough. I mean, <clears throat> congratulations goes out to every coach in the country whose team, whose team got their team together, kept their team together, and had the opportunity to play baseball games. I mean, that, that's what I'll remember. I mean, that's um, – <clears throat> to think about where we were in, in September to where we are now is uh, dang gone. That's uh, that was tough, and so very rewarding though. And uh, so, you know that, that that's the thing I'll take back is just <clears throat> the resolve of these young people. It's unbelievable. You know, I, I don't want to stop coaching these seniors. I don't. I don't want to wake up tomorrow and not get a chance to work with them again. <clears throat> but at the same time. You know, what you've seen over the last 16 months, I'm pretty happy to be sending them out to the world because the world needs them because they are good dudes and they are good men. And uh, and that's what I'll take most out of it. You know, you need some time to reflect on just how, how special this group is to us. And I think it's just, again, how proud I am of the program, you know, and how proud I am of, of, of our administration and, and BCU athletics when I say the program. Um, you get good character people and, uh, you know, and, and, and you, you talk about culture and, and you do it for times like this for when times get tough. You know, you don't need culture when things are good. You don't need culture when you're winning. You need culture when um, things get tough. And, you know, I think that's one thing that really prevailed for me this year was, um, it was the culture came through. And, and it's because these guys steward it. It's their culture. It's their program. And, um, you know, I just – I. You know, I have so much respect for this club. And that's that's to say the least. I'm just so thankful they brought me along for this. This is a team. Uh, we sat down that Tuesday after the G-Dub series, and Coach Stiff said that it was going to be the best time of our lives. And we went on a 22-game win streak after that, came out eight ten champs, and it was just an awesome ride to have with these guys. And they're my best friends, and I'll love them forever, and I wouldn't trade it for the world.